Wow, this is so nostalgic. My name is Yutaro Fujiki, 25 years old. I was back in the town that I grew up in for a business trip for the first time in years. This shopping street hasn't changed at all. I was living in this town until high school, but I moved into the city for college and started living alone. After that, my parents also moved due to a work transfer, so I haven't been back here in five years. I wonder what Kaho was up to. Kao Natsumi was my childhood friend, who lived in the apartment next door to my house. After I left, we had been keeping in touch for a while, but... One day, she told me that there was somebody that she likes, so to not contact her anymore. I couldn't get a hold of her after that, and we became estranged. I've tried to forget her for all these years, but now that I'm back, I can't help but to think about her. And naturally, my feet started to carry me back to my old home. As usual, that's so run down. This was the apartment that Kaho used to live in. Kaho's parents often weren't home because they were working, and I would bring her over to my house so that she could eat with us. The nameplate is different. In Kaho's old house, somebody else was already living there. Kaho, I guess she didn't even want to tell me that she had moved. After that, I moved on to the house that I used to live in. It's just become a plot of land. There wasn't a house there anymore, but... There! What is a small little hut that was built out of cardboard boxes? Huh? Someone is coming out. I thought it would be awkward to make eye contact with a homeless person, so I tried to look away. But at that moment, I wasn't able to look away, and that's because... What? The person that came out was none other than Kaho. Uh, Yuta? But why? I should be asking you. Why are you here? What about the apartment? I don't have anywhere to go home to anymore. After she said that, Kao fell silent, and you were surrounded by a heavy air. Regardless of what happened, I can't just leave Kao like this. Do you want to come to my place? What? It's a really small apartment that I've been living in since college, but you can at least be out of the rain and wind. But I'm going to cause you trouble, Yuta. I want you to trouble me. Yuta? I, I've always been wondering about you. Ever since you told me to stop contacting you, I just couldn't forget about you. The first thing I did when I came back to this town on this business trip was to go to your place. Y y Yuta? Come on, let's go. Yeah. Uh, um, that over there is my apartment, but are you okay? It was a rundown apartment that I started living in when I started college. I was planning on moving once I got a job, but I got too lazy to move, and I'm still living there. Yeah, Yuta, thank you for buying me new clothes and other necessary things. Yeah, don't worry about it. Come on in. Oh, thank goodness I cleaned up before I left for the business trip. Excuse me. It really is tiny, but uh... I'm just grateful that you're letting me be here. Plus, the apartment I used to live in was about this size too, so it feels a little nostalgic. Hey, um, would it be okay if I asked you what happened? Actually, my family was always poor since I was little, and after I graduated high school, I got a job to support my parents. Mom, here, you could use this to pay rent. Ho oh, ho, thank you always. No problem! I'm going to save the rest so I could go see Yuta in Tokyo. What? In debt? And then we found out my dad was carrying a very large debt from the loan company. I'm sorry, Kyle. That's why we need the money no matter what. Okay. Dad, here. Use this money. What? Kyle, are you sure? Thank you. You really are the best daughter, Kaho. We're counting on you from now on, too. What? From now on? I know that my mom and dad are both failures, but still, I... I can't just throw my parents away that easily. I guess I have to keep working from now on. For my parents. In reality, even though I was only giving a part of my salary until now, after my parents asked, I was giving them all of it. Even this cell phone. I have to cancel the contract tomorrow. What do I tell Yuta? Yuta? I don't want to trouble Yuta, and I don't want to worry him either. Hello, Yuta? 
Oh, cow. No, just hearing his voice is making me want to cry. This is perfect. It's about the upcoming holiday, but... Please, don't contact me anymore. What? Cow? I don't want to see you, and I don't want to see your face either. Hey, wait, what do you mean? There's somebody else I like. Goodbye. Kaho? <laughs> the only person that I'll ever like is Kinta. But in order for him to be happy, it's better if I'm not in his life. Um, I'm here to cancel my cell phone contract. A cancellation? Okay. Are you changing to a different device? Or are you going to be switching to a different company? N no, I just want to cancel the contract. And three months after that? What? This is a collection letter from a different credit card company. Dad, what is this about? Kai, I'm sorry. We just really needed the money and... How could you increase your debt even more than you already have? We really are the worst parents for troubling you like this. But please, please don't leave us. You're all we have, Kaho. Yeah, I know. That's what they said to me, but... What? What is this? There's a letter on the floor. Kaho was sorry. There is nothing else we could do. So your mom and I ran away. Please stay away from us and be happy. No way. Uh, yes. When I opened the door, the landlady was standing there. Oh, you're still here. I heard you all moved, so I rushed over here. Um, my parents have moved, but I'm still here. In that case, can you pay the rent that has been overdue? But I gave my father the money to be paying the rent every month, though. They haven't been paying it for over six months now. Six months worth? But if you can't pay it all within three days, I'm kicking you out of this place. In order to pay half a year's worth of rent within three days, I worked from morning until night until way through. But of course, there was no way I could catch up to that amount of money. Not only that, but because I was pushing myself too much, I got sick and I was even fired from my job. What the hell is this? That's not enough at all! I told you to pay everything that was owed to me within three days in one payment, didn't I? I'm very sorry, and I swear I will pay you back the rent little by little. So please, please just wait a little bit longer. I have waited for way longer than enough now. This apartment is in a great location, so even if it's run down, I could easily find a new tenant. If you're not going to pay the rent that's overdue right now, then get out! But I... I lost a place to live and my job. What am I supposed to do with myself now? Yuta, there's no way that I could rely on Yuta at this point, because I'm the one that cut all ties with him in the first place. This is where Yuta's house used to be. When I got there, I was instantly overflowed with memories of you, Yuta. It was so nostalgic and sad that I felt my heart tightening. At least, just let me be here. The place where I have the most memories with Yuta. Wait, uh, so that means that the reason why Kaho told me not to contact her was because... Not because there was somebody that she likes, but because she didn't want to trouble me or worry me? When I think about that... Whoa! When I came to, Kaho was standing right in front of my eyes. I was saved thanks to you, Yuta. So I'll do anything you want. Thank you. What? Please, let me... Uh, anything? As in, that kind of stuff too? No, no, I can't get carried away right now. I need to be a man right now and stand my ground. Kaho, all these years I thought that you hated me. Yuta, I get that. After I so abruptly and selfishly cut you off like that, it's too late to say that I want to thank you. I'm so selfish, aren't I? That's not what I'm saying. When you told me your story, I was actually really happy. It's not that you actually had somebody you liked or that you hated me after all. Now I know that you cut off contact with me for me. But still, it doesn't change the fact that it was all selfish. I'm really so sorry. Yeah, so... 
If you say you're gonna do anything, then I want you to stay with me here forever. Yuta... I don't want to be sad like that ever again, because I like you, and I want you to be by my side forever. I... I... I don't have a job or a place to live. I have nothing. You have me. Are you sure? Are you okay with someone like me? I only want you, Kao. If it's not you, I don't want anybody else. <laughs> you done? I'm sorry it took me so long to come get you. I'm just glad that you came at all. I never thought in my wildest dreams I would be able to see you like this. And that you would understand how I feel. Me too. I'm so glad that I went back to that town and that I was able to reunite with you. I also... I want to be by your side too, Yuta. Please, let me be by your side forever. I love you, Yuta. Thank you, Kao. Kao, I love you. Ow. Sorry, this apartment really is too small. Maybe we should move. After that, the two of us got married. And we moved into a new apartment that was bigger than before. Now that I'm married and I have an address, I could get a proper job. I'm so glad. You look so beautiful in your wedding dress, Kaho. And my parents are both so happy for us. I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm the happiest girl in the world. Are you sure you don't need to tell your parents that we got married? I don't know where they are. And if they found out I got married, they might come asking us for money. I've decided that my only family is you and your parents, Yuta. I see. Even if your parents did come here, I would protect you no matter what, Kaho. And I have friends that are lawyers too, so I can always talk to them. Yeah, Yuta. Thank you so much for everything. You're always the one that's saving me. I don't say it like that. I'm doing it because I want to. I know that, but sometimes I can't help it. I just feel bad. But I don't want to make you feel that way forever. In that case, maybe I'll finally let you thank me. Yeah, I would feel a lot better then too. Do you remember what you said to me before? What? What I said before? You did say that you would do anything, right? Um, well, I was just desperate back then and... I can't believe I said that. Oh, that's way too embarrassing. What? So does that mean that those words were a lie? It wasn't a lie, but... Well then, I think I'll take that thanks now, if that's okay with you. Sure. Now that we have a lot more space, I feel like we can do all kinds of things. I can't wait. Y Yuta? Uh, what are you trying to do? <laughs> yeah, that's for you to find out. Um, well, please be gentle with me. Of course. Gao and I were separated when we still had feelings for each other, but from now on, we will never be apart. We're going to be happy together. Hello! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye!